Welcome back. You are watching Metropole Television. My name is Simba Elijah Charles. Can I get just like I teased before going for a break? Let's answer this question. How do you grow your investment portfolio in real estate? Let's get into that now. They say real estate investments are one of the safest and most effective ways to build wealth. Now, the real estate market may go up or down, but people will always need homes. Well, how definite is this? Now, to find out, we are joined by Sus Suzanne Kiruri, who's a property consultant, certified Homes Limited. So, Susanna, good morning. Good morning, Elijah. Fantastic. Thank you very much for taking your time to speak to us this morning. And in the studio, we are also joined by Kona Limbaya, who's a senior commercial manager, Pazurina Holdings International Limited. Kona, good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Happy to have you around. Thank you so All right. much. Kona, let me begin with you. When somebody says building an investment portfolio in real estate, how would you define that? Uh, in simple terms, it means uh, what you have yes. in real estate. Yes. Uh, a portfolio is what describes you. Uh, you may be having a, a commercial uh, property, you may be having a residential, you may be having plots. Yes. So all that is your portfolio. Yes. In simple terms. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. I'll be coming to that as well. Suzanne, somebody says building your investment portfolio and expanding it. In simple terms, how would you define that in real estate terms? Please come again, Elijah, please. Can you get me now, Suzanne? Yes, please come again, repeat the question. Fantastic. So somebody mm -hmm. says, expanding your investment portfolio. In real estate terms, what does that mean? In simple terms, in real estate, it means uh, growing what you already have in real estate. Yes. It means growing already what you have in real estate. It could be buying more property over time. Yes. It could be repairing what you already have to get more profit from what is already existing. Yes. Or it could be fixing other properties that were dormant to be more profitable into your business. Fantastic. Susanna, I'll be coming back to you then so that we can get to expand that. But boy, okay. let's then get into the gist of the conversation. Real estate, would you define it as, I would say, a potent area for an investor to put their money in? Going by the headlines that we already do know, that since 2018 to date, the real estate sector overall has been underperforming. Uh, <clears throat> The things that people were expecting from real estate mm -hmm. is what might have not come in as per their expectation. But uh, real estate is the best place to put your money because uh, even if it comes down, you still have that property that you, uh, that you bought. Yes. If it is land, you still have it. You can give it two or three years for some infrastructure to come in and it gets uh, some appreciation. Uh, as well, uh, when you definitely get maybe a, uh, a house that has been used and uh, you, you, you buy it, for instance, you can always do some renovation and get something out of it. Yes. So you can never go wrong in real estate. Yes. It is, it, it is, it is the best to put your money. It, it could be the best to put your money. That's yes. what you're saying. Yes. Suzanne, let me pick a phone there. Cornell is saying that you can never go wrong with real estate. Do you agree or you do have some variance when it comes to real estate being a potent area for an investment to get into, to, for an investment to grow? Suzanne, are, are, we, are, you, are you with us? Ah, it's unfortunate that we actually uh, have lost Suzanne for a moment. We, we promised we're going to get her back. Connor, let's continue with that conversation then. People will say that pockets of real estate are the ones that are ticking, as opposed to the general performance of real estate. Would you also agree? Yes, I do. <coughs> In real estate, uh, what usually happens, uh, you need to have your goals. Yes. What, why are you getting the real estate? 
you have to get clear goals because most of the people get into uh, real estate to uh, definitely have that financial control you you have the audacity or you have now uh, what we call uh, the guarantee yes. or even clearing your financial debts or doing something else so when someone thinks about real estate one you must have very clear goals of what do you want to do do you want to have it just for financial control do you want to have it uh, for your future uh, people, yes. uh, the grandchildren, your, or what do you want to do with it when probably you've, get, you've, you've decided to go home. That is exactly, uh, and I agree with, with what you're saying. Yes, yes. fantastic. Mm -hmm. Then let's talk about that as well. Mm -hmm. We are looking at this investor. I want you to talk to me in perspective as well. Mm -hmm. You're looking at this investor who wants to start getting into real estate. I mean, it's not all day that we have somebody with this large amount of money where you can go in and buy homes worth millions and then say, well, give me six years, I'll be reselling this and then coming back to be a millionaire in that end or a billionaire in that respect. Talk to me about this small scale investor who wants to start having a portfolio in real estate. In Pasarina terms, where do you begin from? And are those spaces now open for the small scale investors who want to, over time, grow their portfolio in real estate? Uh, Simba, there's another day I was having a conversation with uh, uh, a client, actually, in, uh, when I was going down yes. uh, to the end in a plane. Yes. And uh, this conversation, actually, we had a conversation with someone else, and, I was, uh, and they were like, real estate, you have to get money for you to get into into real estate so which is which is a myth isn't it uh, to some extent <laughs> <laughs> to some extent isn't yes it? yeah, yeah. Uh, but i i told him have you ever had five thousand shillings if you've had five thousand shillings then you should be having uh, a plot or uh, a property somewhere because this five thousand shillings extra for instance, in Pazurina, currently we launched uh, a project that is going for 490,000. 1,000, isn't it? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. For a quarter. Yes. Uh, currently we are doing the roads, and uh, it is next to Lunga Lunga Highway towards yes. Tanzania. Yes. When we've done the roads, in a couple of two or three months, it's, we are going to, uh, it's going to appreciate to around six or 800,000. For, ex uh, for instance, you take uh, two quarters, that is around less than a million shillings. Yes, yes. Give you two years, you sell it at double prices, or thrice the price that you bought it. You already have like two million. Move to the next project, buy at 200 or 300, give it two or three years you sell it and you get thrice or four times the price that you bought it. The problem that we have is, uh, especially the young people, yes. us, we, we, we get a million shillings and we rush to get an Uber. In the Uber, you're going to get uh, 2,500 or 3,000 per day, which at times is not guaranteed. Uh, the, the government rules the police uh, up and down. Uh, there is that uh, point of the driver not being honest. You keep on sending away the drivers and getting new drivers every month. This one is not doing well, bringing in this one. But see, it's a case that you have your plot, you put it there, you have a little deed, you go sit home. Yes. You wait for two years. Yes. And you get something else. Uh, in the Pasadena Gulf City, you started selling the, the plots at 3 and 90. Actually, 350,000 yes. a quarter. Yes. Currently, that quarter is going for 2.7 million. Why? Because we've done the perimeter wall, we've done the roads, we put the electricity and water. Close to two years only, and someone has made four times what he, he used when buying that. Yes. You don't have to get to the bank to get 100 million shillings to be a property owner. You start small. With that 5,000 shillings, uh, there are payment plans even in other, even in other uh, firms. I'm very sure they have payment plans that uh, they put according to the client's uh, respect. Yes. That that five thousand shillings can be paid over this time, over this time. 
up to the time that you clear uh, your your payments. Yes. So it is possible. People should not fear. Fantastic. So I'm, I'm going to stick to that because this is a direct, a direct question as well in terms of growing that investment portfolio. So somebody is asking, must it be land then? And if I'm going to look for this land, there's so many people now, there's so many farms that are selling land. Yes. What am I looking for? Because if it's going to be me growing that investment portfolio, there has to be that selling factor. Case in point, you can buy land in some areas in the country as well that are getting sold by different farms, and you can sit with it for six, seven, eight years, and you're having turned in a profit on it, or nobody's coming for it as well. Sure. Uh, what people usually don't consider uh, is the location. Yes. And what is coming up in two or three years to come. Yes. The infrastructure. Yes. Which is very important. Uh, sorry to take you back to Diani, uh, the south coast. There is the Dongokundu bypass that is being done. It's yes. almost done. Actually, it's, uh, it, it's uh, not even halfway. It's almost done. Just a few kilometers. This road will make uh, uh, people from Nairobi or any other place not to get to Lekodi Ferry. You use the bypass to get to the south coast. Yes. And that has made it even easier for the properties to, uh, to escalate so fast. Before you think of getting a property, because you can get a property somewhere in the bush where even the access is, a, is an issue. Getting someone to sell to, to, to resell it to would be an issue. Uh, you might think of even doing an apartment. That apartment, uh, people, especially uh, Nairobians, I cannot live where I stay uh, in Buruburu to go and rent an apartment inside uh, Kitengela. Like, you get to Kitengela and you go like another 10 kilometers inside. Yes. It will not make sense. Yes. I cannot even rent maybe a, a, a non compound on the other side. But if I build mine, it would be better. But is it giving me some, some income? Well, it is not. Question, isn't it? it yes. is not. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So, think about, look at the infrastructure. What is coming in? Electricity, water, roads. Is there any mall that is coming in next that is going to make the, 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 the property to appreciate? Mm -hmm. You have to look at that first. Yes. That is why people uh, buy something uh, out of nowhere. It's kept there for years. Uh, it doesn't appreciate. It's th uh, that's the reason some of us go wrong. Yes. yes. So are we saying therefore, because if you look at the properties that are already attractive for somebody who wants to start out then growing this portfolio are we saying move away from the city is that what you're saying in a nutshell move away from the city and is that is that a selling point now for real estate it's congested it's a selling point yes it's congested people should consider even some more tourism yes has really improved in kenya local tourism has actually gone even higher to to the extent that nowadays even when you get to the plane you go to Mombasa yes the people that are there people are going for holidays the plane to Kunda is full of people are going for holidays think about even having a a holiday home when you want to go to Mombasa you will not pay anything you lose your you lose your home. When you hear this other side, there's someone else will be using it to get some income. But when you decide to get uh, a house or, or a property somewhere in the bush, you put something, it will not give you income. Yes. And even in the city, the city is congested. Let's move out of the city. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, let's also talk about that as well. Land ownership vis-a-vis -vis developing that land and adding value to it. That's another question again that we've got, especially when it comes to um, growing your portfolio in real estate as well. What should you go for? Should you just buy land and then sit with it, move it on, and then keep on doing that? And then in the, in the real time, you'll find that, well, I'm growing my portfolio. I buy land, wait for it to grow in value, and then I dispose it off. And then I get another one, wait for it to grow in value, and then I dispose it off. Or should I get it, develop it, and then reap the real benefits of it? Uh, that, again, depends on uh, the kind of financial muscle that you have. Yes. 
there's some there's someone who is on, well, having that uh, 500,000 and if once he's bought that's the only money that he's having that he can uh, decide for investment yes so once uh, someone has bought that land for 500,000 he's got no other money to develop the best thing to do just give it a year or so resell the land have some two uh, after having the two, uh, develop one, wait for the other one to appreciate and sell. That is another way of trying to spread your portfolio. Yes. To diversify. Yes. Yes. Pretty much. Yeah. Now, I like what you're doing at Pazibrina, that you are saying there's a new trend now that is coming up, that you are touching tourism to real estate, that it's something you can actually get into and if you attach it like that, then you have promised returns out of your real estate investment. Are you saying, don't just look at real estate for what it is. Think about it in different terms as well. Is that what you're saying at Pazurina? That's what we're doing at, at, at Pazurina. Yes. Uh, because what we are giving out is uh, an opportunity for someone to have a holiday home. Yes. The holiday home will spare you the money because Diani is expensive, honestly. Yes. The hotels there, quite expensive. expensive, isn't it? Yes. Quite expensive. Yes. Uh, and they are, they are good. So someone would not afford to pay maybe 80,000 per night, but can afford to pay 40,000 per night. You have a holiday home. Uh, you've got some other people who have gone down there. Uh, and uh, taken for a weekend, four or five days, times 40,000. You're just in Nairobi, in your house, there's someone using it. Definitely you're going to get something out of that. And again, when you go to Diani, you're good. Yes. You don't spend money to, to pay the hotel. Uh, we should not look at real estate as, especially now the commercial, that uh, this should be a rental. This definitely should be a residential. We have to now move out of that box that we've been thinking uh, about in real estate and at least uh, get it, get more about real estate, not yes. about residential and commercial. Yes. Yes. Pretty much. A direct question as well. Somebody who's starting today, I, I don't have any property and I want to grow my investment portfolio in real estate. How many years should I get into it before you say, well, I think I'm there now? Uh, the funny thing with us, you, we don't really appreciate where we are. Yes. You have uh, a building worth uh, 100 million with an income, a uh, rental income of maybe 200 or 500,000, you still need to get some more. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> so we never satisfied. Yes. Uh, but when someone is starting small, uh, you have your goal as well. Yes. Uh, there's a point that will come that you say, oh, I, have, I have this, I have this, I have that. Uh, when you do the valuation, when this come to, to 20 or 30 million, that you had in mind when you are starting to invest or spread your portfolio. Uh, when you get to that, definitely you'll say, fine, uh, up to this point, this is where I wanted to be, this is where I am now. Yes. So anything I'm doing extra is out of my hard work. So yes. it will be easy to construct or to get some more properties after you've reached what you wanted to be there. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Let me take you back a little bit to exactly what you said. Let's move away from these popular names. Like, I've got a property in Nairobi, I've got a property in Akura, I've got a property in Mombasa. So, Pazurina, are you, since you're also driving that conversation, why are you heading into that is out of the norm? What most people are used to, Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu. Where are you heading to in terms of your properties? Uh, in a couple of years, yes. when you'll be walking along the lakes, yes. Or the ocean. I really, really have, have one ocean that is the Indian Ocean. Indian, case. Yes. But when you'll be looking along the, the lakes that we have, you'll definitely see Pazurina. Yes. That is where we, we are. 
Uh, would like to say that there's an area in, um, I don't know whether to call it real estate tourism now, yes. that has not been explored fully in, in the country. It has not been explored fully. And it offers a real investment opportunity, would you sure. say? Yes. 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 So uh, are, we, are we about to see you in Electrocan as well? We are going there. Oh, you are heading We're there? We are heading there. We are heading there. And as a real estate um, investor, are those the questions I should be asking myself right now? What can I do in Turkana? What can I do in, in Kisumu now? Is, yes. is that it? That is it. Yes. What can you do there? Uh -huh. uh, because uh, in Turkana, it's a little bit away from Nairobi, a little bit away from the noise, the, 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 the pollution that we have here. Yes. So take for example... And you it have offers a good tourism destination. A good tourism doesn't destination, it? yes. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, take for instance, you have a holiday home there. You decide not to go to Diani. You go to uh, Turkana. It, it's more or less the same as as Diani, because it offers uh, another look of uh, tourism sector. Yes, yes. All right, direct one. I don't know whether you'll be able to answer this as well because they they they're quite direct. So this this is one that I got. How many properties should I start with? Under five hundred thousand. With a budget of 500,000? Yes. <laughs> uh, you can start with, uh, depending on what you're looking at, Yes. and uh, the location and your goal, Yes. you can start just with one or two. Because it's easy to get uh, a land of 250,000, but how long is it going to appreciate? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is going to come in the roads? some infrastructure, is, 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 are we going to have electricity soon? So uh, before you decide on having that particular one, yes. uh, think about what is coming in. Yes. You'd rather spend that 500,000 in having one than 250 having two, and then this one, the, five, the, 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 the one will have uh, to appreciate a little bit faster. Yes. Because of the location, because of what is coming in. Yes. So uh, that's the advice I can give. Just start with one, with an assurance that you're going to get something yes. out of it. All right, number two as well, and this is the last question that I have for you, is the direct one as well. We've got really investors who are asking these questions. They say that for somebody to invest in the stocks, sometimes you have to go through lessons and understand the stocks and, and learn about it. For somebody to invest in real estate, do I need to approach Pazuena, for example, uh, Cornell, to mm -hmm. sit down and talk to them so they can teach me the things that I'm looking for before I start my investment journey? Or look for land, put your money in, because we're saying real estate is good, somebody's going to come for it and buy it a couple of years down the line. Uh, in real estate, you, do, you should not rush. Yes. You should get your facts right. That's it. And uh, if possible, do some feasibility study. Mm -hmm. What is coming in uh, in, it, 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 in 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 ten oh, in ten months or in two years? Think about that. I have a much in, in stock. You need to sit down and also follow up on a daily basis. Yes. What is coming in? Yes. Uh, in the newspaper, what was what was it today? In real estate, just do it, it, it's a one-off thing. Yes. Once you do your feasibility study, you do evaluation. Probably, if you want to get maybe uh, an already built house, yes. If not a plot, then definitely you're going to do evaluation or feasibility study and what you want it for. And, and do I leave it? Do I leave that job for you? Because I know at Pasarina you're really good at that. Or do I? do my study as well on the side because for you to do business i mean if i buy the house that's fine yeah but do i leave that information big for you because I, I would like also to think that you can't promise something that is going to give at the end of the day it's usually good to uh leave it to the experts however much you can do yours yes. as well yes. but it's usually good to leave it to the experts i see yes yes yeah fantastic yeah. Mm -hmm. 45 seconds so for somebody who wants to invest at Pazarina right now, what is open for them? How can they get on board? Uh, at Pazarina, we have three different projects. The yes. one for the Pazarina Golf City that is going for 2.7 million. Remember I told you earlier that this one, we started selling them at uh, 350,000. And, and that was how far back? This three years back. <sighs> Oof. This three years back. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, apparently we've got clients who've been moving with us. Some have not even gone to the site to look at their... They've started to grow the investment the portfolio just within, within us. Yeah, just within us. Yes. So uh, someone picked uh, uh, th two at 350. Move with that to the next project that is in Galukinondo. Yes. Picked uh, two at uh, 650 and has currently moved with us to Lunga Lunga and has picked another three. He spread his, 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 his portfolio. In uh, the Gulf City, we are doing a uh, commercial center and the golf course, the yes. main hall. This other side, we're also doing holiday homes. And in the third project, we're doing uh, <coughs> uh, apartments. So you see this guy is having a commercial center. He's having a holiday home. He's also having an apartment. Yes. So once that has been diversified, definitely you, you, the risk has come down. Because in real estate, you have to diversify your portfolio for that risk to at least come down. Yes. So uh, in the recent... Uh, uh project that we, just, that we just launched is going for 490,000 a quarter with titles. Start small, there is uh, an installment payment for six months. We do the calculations, it will be coming to around 100,000 per month and you're done paying your quarter, you have the title. You wait for two years, you resell it, we sell it for you. You sell it to, uh, if I buy the next time, the, ne the next two years you come, I'll sell it for you at uh, two million and you give me the money. <coughs> Simba. Now you do not. It's, come on. It's that simple. It's that simple, isn't yeah. it? That's simple. I hope they had you. They did. I also had you. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been making plans, I'll be you talking to you <laughs> Now you see exactly how it is. Growing your investment portfolio in real estate. We don't apologize. We lost Suzanne a couple uh, minutes this morning. And we shall be promising to bring her back and also invite Cornell back. So we can have that one-on-one -on -one conversation on exactly how you can grow your investment portfolio in real estate. Now you do know. He says, start small. But then leave it to the experts, ask questions of them and let them answer those questions because they're saying you can never get it wrong with real estate in rare occasions, will you? Because there's some pockets that are performing. I want to talk to him at Metropole TVKE across your social media platforms. I am at Kiage Simba. We take a short break, but once we come back, no listing for anybody who's defaulted alone since 2020 of less 5 million shillings. Are the banks happy with that? Is lending going to improve just because of that president's declaration? Once we come back. <laughs>